Oh, hello, hello. Good afternoon. Good day, everyone. I hope you're having a f fabulous evening or fabulous morning or afternoon. Okay, um, I'm doing a reading on Sagittarius for the month of July 2017. Um, I've already shuffled the cards, but I'm going to shuffle them again because some people like to see you shuffle cards on camera. So you want to do this for the people, not for you, right? So I've shuffled already, so I'm going to start laying them out, okay? Sagittarius. I hope all my Sagittarius doing. I hope you guys are okay. You guys are doing great. Sagittarius, this is for the month of July. If you would like to subscribe, you could subscribe below. If you like to comment, you could comment below. Um, if this resonates with you, you could comment below. If it doesn't resonate with you, um, I'm reading for a lot of people, so it would not resonate with everyone. Okay? So, don't kill the messenger. <laughs> I'm just a messenger, giving you guys your reading. But if you would like a private reading, you can reach me at cindygold28 at gmail.com. Okay? If you want to get some kind of clarification. All right. Let's get started. Okay, let's go. Interesting. All right. Also, I'm using a mirror oracle card. If you guys would like to um, support her, support her, um, and get this card, that'd be awesome. I love this cards because they're great. Okay. This one wanna pop up. Some of you are working really, really, really hard. You guys are working really hard. Oh, you guys are dealing with a Scorpio. I'll be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, some of you are dealing with more than one partnership. It's enough for the month of July 2017. I said it. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. Oh, what a sign. Okay. It's enough for the month of July 2017. Okay. Oh, the lover's card. You see that pop up? I think who also got this? I think it was Gemini that got the same card. Fire sign. This could be your younger um fire sign. And the Sagittarius needs to speak for the Sagittarius needs to know for the month of July. To that. Ooh. 2017. This could be a uh, yeah, you guys are dealing with more than one person. Cause I could see that already. Communications coming in. The Sagittarius needs to know. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. Um, Sagittarius. Okay. First thing I saw was that you guys are dealing with more than one person. You're dealing with more than one person. Triangle. Um, you could be a male dealing with two women. Or you could be a female dealing with two guys. Or you could be a male dealing with two guys. It could be same sex or, or a female or a male. It could go either way. Um, some of you are... Maybe someone from your past or someone that you just recently met. Or this could be your friend that you, you've you decided to date. Because I see new love here. I see new love right here. Isn't that just so beautiful? Or some of you might be finding out that you're pregnant or you're having a baby. Okay. Um... A lot of you feel so free. You feel free. 
you feel really free, elevated, liberated. Um, maybe you left someone and that made you feel free or you've gotten a new job and that made you feel free. Whatever it is, something is making you feel free. And there's some kind of gossip around the person you're dating. Um, I don't know what's going on. Maybe people are talking about you guys or you guys are telling your friends about the person you met. Um, this person is your true gem. Okay, or this person could sell, they might be selling some type of gym or, <clears throat> excuse me, or they have stones, crystals, gems around them that they like to keep. Or they might be a psychic with, um, they have a lot of gemstones. Okay, also I see a lot of you are dating, you're dating someone. And this could be from trying to make that choice of those two people. And you finally chose who it is you want to move forward with. So you are going to be breaking it off with somebody. It's a short term. You are going to be breaking it off with somebody. This person is from your past. Okay, I see some of you are dating someone from your past. <clears throat> this could be two people from your past that's coming back. It could be an ex from your past that's coming back. And this ex could be a Scorpio that's coming back, okay? This person just went through a transformation. All right? Um, they might be coming back to you. They might be reaching out to you, um, bring, bringing some kind of clear communication to you. And it was unexpected. Someone feels like they've been controlled by someone. Someone is being controlled by someone. Either you or your partner is being controlling or you're controlling um, someone. Someone is maybe you feel like someone is controlling you to do something you don't want to do. Just be mindful of being, you know, trying to control people. And this person you're dealing with is from a long distance. Okay, because this is you waiting on that person to come in. Or this could be the person you're dealing with waiting for you to come in to see them so you guys could have this date that you guys are going to embark on. Okay? This is a past love for sure. So this person is from your past that's coming in. This could be a Scorpio, a Gemini. Um, it could also be a fire sign as well because I, I do see a fire sign that's approaching. A younger fire sign that's coming in. Maybe you're dating a Leo Sagittarius Aries. Or a Gemini. Or a Scorpio. Or Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Okay? You guys are dealing with a threesome. Because let's go three of hearts. Something is causing you heartache. Maybe you you leaving that person is causing some kind of grief. Or it's causing some kind of pain. Um, a lot, some of you are also going through some kind of rebirth. Okay, you're going through some kind of uh, um, transformation, some kind of, um, or maybe you're being judged or you're judging somebody else because I do see the gossip card. So there's people talking about you and this person that you're dealing with from your past. Or you might be talking about them to your colleagues or your friends. Okay, maybe your friends are helping you in your love life. I don't know. You guys are working really hard, um, trying to align all your goals intact. Um, you're embarking on this new... There's a fire sign that's bringing you some type of news from afar. Maybe it's a job offer or love offer. Um, they're bringing in some kind of clear communication. Okay? And you will be accepting this offer. You will be accepting this offer. So you might make the choice of leaving the Scorpio to embark into this fire sign. Or you might be leaving a Scorpio. Or you might be leaving a fire sign to embark with an air sign. So some of you do have air sign. Gemini. I see strongly Gemini. I see Scorpio. And I also see Pisces and Cancer. So I see Leo. I see Sagittarius, Aries. see Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. And I also see an air sign, Libra, Gemini, and um, Aquarius. So you do have all the signs present. Um, but I do think you're leaving someone. You're going to be making a decision to leave 
either Scorpio or you're going to be making a decision to leave um, an air sign. Okay? All right. So that's what I have for you guys, um, Sagittarius. Um, I'm going to... Okay. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get clarification on the Three of Swords because I want to see... Is it a heartbreak or this is a triangle? Like this card said here. Okay, so I'm going to see. I think you or your partner might be dealing with more than one person. Spirits, give me one clarification card for the Three of Swords, please. Give me one clarification card for the Three of Swords. Thank you. So you are having some type of disagreement with a fire sign. And be, this fire sign is not letting you sleep. This could be an air sign or fire sign that's giving you problems. I think it's an air sign, though, that's giving you problems. Okay? So you're trying to find, um, you're trying to go think things through to make a, a decision about this um, fire sign and this air sign. I see a lot of people trying to make choices this month. The month of July is all about choices, decisions, transformations new adventures so on and so forth but i do see you having a disagreement with someone maybe you're having a disagreement um with someone pertaining to this um triangle okay you're not getting enough rest you're not sleeping that's ten of swords which means completion of a cycle of a phase a phase is over some of you might not begin enough rest some of you might not begin um enough sleep or you might be um, staying up at, at night wondering because I do see a water sign offering you something you're not accepting it um, so you're not getting enough sleep because of this air sign person or you're not getting enough sleep because of this offer this triangle situation that's going on someone I think someone found out about the triangle and approached you about it and um, it became a disagreement between you and this person over this um, triangle situation that's going on. See, I, I keep seeing the three. So you are dealing with more than one person. Okay, you are dealing with more than one person. Um, and someone found out about it. And um, it became a disagreement um, with you guys about this triangle situation. So maybe that's what's going on here. Okay, so try and make... The decision and pick one person because if you don't, um, the karma will come back and bite you in the butt. So you don't want that to happen. You want to make a decision because this phase is over. Whatever it is that you're going through that is bothering you, it's over. The cycle is coming to an end for you to begin something new with either a Gemini, either a Gemini or with the fire sign or water sign. Okay. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for your support. If you'd like to subscribe, um, the subscribe button is down below. And you can subscribe to your friends, your colleagues, and to yourself. If you would like a private reading to um, understand better what's going on in your life, you could um, contact me at cindygo28 at gmail.com. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Okay, guys? Thank you.